finally found some privacy. Yes. <laughs> I'm in downtown Chicago today and it's really hard to find like kind of a quiet spot around here as I'm sure you can imagine. The city is loud and full of people everywhere. But I am um, sitting in this little like garden area right next to the Art Institute. So for all my Belgrade peeps out there, you get to see a little taste of downtown. Isn't it nice? And it's really cold today. Um, if you can't tell, if the wind blows, you'll see how cold it is. Apparently, Hurricane Sandy is affecting even us here in Chicago with the uh, lake and stuff. But I have something super juicy to share with you um, today. Last night, I took my first S-Factor class. Um, and if you haven't heard what S-Factor, or if you haven't heard about S-Factor, yes, it is the pole dancing, striptease, new form of exercise that's been sort of really popular lately. But if you actually read up on it and read about S-Factor and, and Sheila Kelly, the woman that um, started it, you'll see that it's so much more than about you know prancing around a pole. Um, Sheila Kelly is an actress who was preparing to either audition, I think, for a role as a stripper. So she was doing some research for that and just um, found how amazing and powerful and <laughs> oh my god um, and discovered how awesome she felt uh, doing the movements um, not only is it an amazing workout for your body but you just feel so sexy and in your feminine power you feel like a goddess it's, it's truly 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 amazing uh, so I did it last night, it was at this intro class, and it, was, and it was challenging, and it was empowering, and it was beautiful. And I was thinking though, looking around at the different women, you know, that were there, there were only a, a few of us, um, how, you know what, like, you are sexy. Every one of you. Sexy is not about looking a certain way, or having a certain size of boobs, or you know, certain fullness of lips or any of that. But, you know, just seeing them move in this way, every single one of them looked so sexy. And um, the S factor is based upon, the reason it's called S factor is because it's based on, you know, the S curve of the female body. That's how our body is designed. That's how our body is made. And our body is made to move in this way. So it's all about this fluid feminine movement and it's sexy and powerful and uh, sensual and again just an awesome workout but you just it's like it releases the the sexy in you the femininity in you that's that's in there it's an inherent birthright so I just want to encourage you to take a look at it it's a great way to if you haven't tapped into your sexiness to do so um, but either way know that it's that you are sexy it's in you it's waiting to just come out of you so um, I'll talk to you more about this coming up soon but I need to go for now because I think this guy is kind of wondering what I'm doing <laughs> bye okay so that guy left I have some more to say <laughs> um, and what I just wanted to add about this is that I think that we as women have been made to feel um, sort of guilty and ashamed of our sexiness and femininity. Um, you know, you hear the stories of you know, women who, you know, get raped and then, you know, the story goes, oh well, she asked for it, you know. Oh, what a crock of shit, sorry. I really don't like to swear, but some things just really infuriate me. Of course, you know, tapping into your femininity and being in your, you know, power and being sexy does not mean that you're going to go around, you know, seducing every man and, and, you know, trying to get every man to want you. If you're doing that, that's coming from sort of an, in, you know, an insecure place. That's not what, what taking an S Factor class or doing anything like that, you know, leads you to do. It, it helps you, you know, to 
tap into who you really are at, at the core of you as a feminine being. Um, and it just makes you more confident, which then, you know, you don't have the need to now make every man, you know, want you per se. Like Sheila Kelly even said, she ended up then loving it so much that she, you know, put a, a, a poll in her husband's office. But she didn't even, she said, you know, most of the time she was just practicing and doing it for herself because it made her feel so good. You know, of course, there's the added benefit of then being able to share that with your husband or significant, you know, other. But, you know, initially it was just, it, just for herself. So being sexy is not about out there. It's about, you know, it's about in here. You might not be able to, you know, help then attracting, you know, certain men, but you don't, that's not the intention of it. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't focus on the external, it focuses on the internal. It, it comes from within. It, it helps you just, you know, tap into this deep, dormant, femininity inside of you that's dying to come out and for so many different reasons we've been stuffing it you know with the feminist movement and you know trying to you know be be this you know be the same as men I'm all for being equal with men but we're not the same for obvious reasons I mean oh my goodness so anyways I just want to encourage you I don't want to keep rambling but just encourage you to know that you're sexy and that if you want help tapping into it you know take an s factor class but also as i've said um before and i'll say it again i'd love to work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you discover and reveal who you truly are um, to help you trust yourself more as we said before to help you um just just to help you grow into the full glory of who god created you to be so Okay, that's all for now. I've got to go and uh, meet a friend for lunch, so I will talk to you again soon. Ciao!